Hi, my name is Brian Roberts. I work at Central Michigan University, but I'm hanging out at MIPA this week, and I'm teaching photojournalism from covering to publishing. The covering to publishing class is set up to be a class for photographers and photo editors. It's a way that the students can go out, they can learn how to shoot different assignments, news assignments, portraits, um, a lot of interactive stuff, maybe boring things, maybe really cool things, but they're going to get all kinds of assignments at school. Uh, then what we do is we run them through a workflow process so they can learn how to organize their images, um, where to store them, how to use metadata, how to tag them, and how to make them easily um, searchable when they're looking for an image in a hurry under deadline. Uh, we show them a lot of Photoshop skills, um, a lot about file types, image size, resolution, quality, um, color and grayscale mode, um, pretty much all the production stuff that we make sure that their images look good when they're in print or on their web publications. We learn like camera, like basic camera knowledge that um, I already knew but it's like good to review and then um, we learn more about Photoshop and how to adjust pictures and fix them and stuff. We had to go to like a fair or like a location shoot and take pictures there and we each got like a separate assignment like I had animals and um, we had to like talk to a stranger and get some information and take a picture and we had um, just like different stuff kind of like that. We had to do like environmental portraits, it's like people in their environments. We have learned some photo techniques as well as going up to strangers and being able to talk to them and get backstories and caption writing and we've also learned a lot about workflow which has been really helpful for me and I'm excited to take that back to my school. I learned uh, like the pr perspective of shooting and like how to get good angles and making sure that the photo is sharp before you like make leave so you have a good photo. And then I learned about bridge because I don't know anything about bridge. Coming into the class it's great if students have uh, basic camera knowledge. Um, they can come in if they know a little bit about composition and maybe they've used auto mode on their cameras and now they're ready to take the next step. Uh, they want to learn about apertures and shutter speeds and how to shoot in manual mode. Basically not letting the camera do all the work and make the images look like the camera wants them to do, uh, where they really take control and learn how to um, do those things manually. In a perfect world, it's great if the students bring their own camera or at least the camera from the school that they're going to use. What we find is oftentimes the schools have, you know, three Canon cameras or three Nikon cameras and they all share them. If you can bring that camera to camp with you, it's going to be the tool that you're going to use back at school. I'd recommend this class for anybody that's a photographer or a photo editor, even a managing editor. It's great if all of these people know um, the process and the workflow behind organizing digital images. There's no question that we shoot, you know, far more digital images than we ever did on film. Um, the ability to quickly retrieve those images, find those images, and get them into your publications through a workflow is great for everybody. So that on deadline night, when you need something in a hurry, you can find it and make it look good and get it out there. Um, you don't have to come in with much other than like a little bit about taking pictures so you know kind of what you're looking for to take it but um, he teaches you most of what you need to edit your photos and all that. I would recommend this class. I think it was extremely helpful in the aspect of workflow. We learned a lot of stuff about metadata and how to be organized and so it's easy to find photos and I think that'll help a lot because we always have confusion about where things are and people get upset and I think that was probably the most helpful thing for me. It's like an intermediate class and I would recommend it because you get to like go out like off campus or like yeah pretty much off campus and shoot and um, you get to like walk around so I think you should have some basic knowledge because it's more of an intermediate class, so basic knowledge, and I'd recommend it because, I don't know, I think I learned a lot.